Okay, so you got lucky and you got some uh, Blu-ray movies to start replacing your old DVDs since you've got a new 4K TV or maybe even got a 4K for uh, Christmas. Anyway, uh, if you got some new ones, it's time to replace your DVDs. And yeah, you can still put them in the Blu-ray player. But the best way, if you go ahead and rip these movies and put them in, um, in a digital format, put them in digital format, and then you can uh, play them anytime you want without having to dig through uh, all your movies just to find the one you want to watch. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to convert this movie into digital format. Uh, some people call it ripping, but it's converting it to a digital format so that we can store it on an external uh, hard drive or some kind of a, a digital storage device. So that's what we're going to do, and I'll show you how to do this. But uh, it makes it a lot more convenient. And some people, well, why don't you just start streaming the stuff? Well, streaming works okay, but you really don't get the true quality, and especially you don't get the audio. So if it's broad, if these are in uh, HD audio, you, the streaming services do not. They provide uh, Dolby Digital uh, and DTS, but they do not provide uh, HD audio. So that you need a Blu-ray player or a uh, device that uh, plays this when you convert it. So I'm going to show you how to convert that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into my uh, uh, DVD burner and go ahead and uh, start ripping it. Okay, I put the Blu-ray disc into my computer, the DVD burner. Now I'm going to use Make MKV to uh, read it and rip it. So there's what we got right there. This is what it looks like. And this is a Make MKV. It is a free app, but I think I paid $50 for it uh, as a donation two or three years ago. Now right now it's reading that disc. Now this is all legal because I own the disc and I'm not going to be sharing it or anything like this. This is strictly going to be for my usage only. So, so we'll go through and this is the one we want right there. Okay, so we're going to uncheck all these and probably most of you are already familiar with this application. Now the, uh, the new thing is the 4K uh, Blu-rays. Now those are coming out now and I will probably start upgrading some of my old DVDs to the Blu-ray. So that's what I'll do, but right now, or excuse me, to the 4K, but right now I'm going to go ahead and do it to the uh, um, uh, Blu-ray. Okay, Spanish, I don't need Spanish, I don't need French. English subtitles for us. I don't need Spanish. French, French, Spanish, Spanish. Okay, now one thing about this one, it's encoded in VC1. Uh, I have a lot of different players and M Logic players, and they do not play VC1 very well. So, okay, that's where we got it. So, uh, so my F drive, so we're going to go ahead and Click Make MKV. Okay. Now, while it's doing that, you say, okay, now I rip it. Now, where am I going to put this stuff? Okay. Uh, one uh, thing that you can use, which I've purchased one because I've got too many devices now that are full. But anyway, uh, the Seagate expansion, 8 terabyte for 130 bucks. That's not bad. So you can put a lot of your movies on there uh, if you've got a... Uh, DVR recorder, which you record uh, your TV shows and movies that way. You can also store them on that. So that's a lot of uh, capacity on that. So, all right, that's what I want to show you. And when that gets done, I will continue the demonstration. Okay, when I added the expansion drive, the Seagate drive, to my uh, uh, router, my Asus router, it created this item here. And I created this folder called Blu-ray Movies. Now, the reason I am I added that to my router, the hard drive to my router, uh, it runs 24-7, seven, seven days a week. But uh, my computer, I turn it off every day, so I really don't want to put my 
media there because if I watch it a movie at night, I don't want to turn my uh, computer on just to stream a movie. So I've connected that hard drive directly to my uh, uh, router. Now, I could have connected it to some of my other devices that I leave on all the time, but this would work the best for me because it had a USB 3 port, which gives me fast transfer speed. So anyway, that's where it is, and I created this folder here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit it and move or copy that file. Okay, where did I put it? Okay, put it right here. Put it under video. Back to the future. Okay, I'm going to copy that. Actually, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to paste it back here where I created that. Paste it. Okay, so what it's doing, it's moving it from my computer to that hard drive, that 8 terabyte hard drive that I got connected to my router. So that enables me to um, watch that movie from any devices that I have in any room and uh, on any TV. So if I had connected that... Uh, eight terabyte uh, extended hard drive if I connected it to a specific uh, player then I could not share it with the other uh, TV so that's one of the benefit of connecting it to there now also I have several other um, uh, uh, NASA's network area storage devices uh, or that yeah that DS2 that's a Synology NAS and this WD, that's Western Digital NAS. Now, the bowls, those I could have put the movies on there, but they're getting full. So that's what I did. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you how to do that.